everyone, this is Moritz for Tedra and we're live from Consumer Electronics Show 2014 with ASUS and um, we've seen a lot of pad phones from uh, ASUS in the past, um, but now this is a new kind of a new form factor, a little yeah. smaller pad phone. Mm -hmm. So uh, can you tell us uh, what, what is the idea behind the pad phone mini? Okay, so basically the reason for pad phone mini is uh, we're seeing like phone comes in different sizes, right? Yeah. So we're, uh, right now the, the previous, ver previous version of the pad phones are old, mostly in 10 inches. Yes. So we're trying to reach because we know portable is a big issue. I mean, big incentive or big advantage in terms of mobile technology. So we're trying to for like a smaller uh, package where people can carry around it more easily. Okay, cool. Okay, so so basically this is uh, the platform mini. So um, besides from the um, the previous generation, which is uh, five inch to a ten inch or a nine inch, yeah. Now it's a four inch to a seven inch. Okay. So basically, overall, it's more portable. Yeah. So you can hold it in one hand, and then so when you're answering calls, you can actually it won't be looking as bad as when you're looking. Yeah. You're yeah. I get it. Form, right? Okay. Can you tell us a little bit more about the specs? What kind of sure. processor, so, RAM, etc. No problem. So basically. This uh, tablet is four into a seven inch. It's powered by the uh, the Intel CPU. Yeah, Adam and, uh, CPU. Uh, Adam CPU. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. it's a Z twenty five eighty. Yeah, that's right. And then it's uh, it's a HD screens both sides. So both of them. Okay. Both of them. Mm -hmm. So it's a four inch HD and a seven inch HD. Okay. Okay. And then it supports micro SD and then it supports uh, up to three G HSPA. Uh, what about the internal storage? Uh, internal storage is uh, sixteen gig. Uh, there's thir thirty two. The, the, the sixteen above them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, um, so can you tell us anything about when this is going to be available? So basically, uh, it should, it's already launching in Taiwan last year, mm -hmm. so it's going to be available soon. Okay. And then the price-wise, it's going to be uh, $249 US dollars. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. No, no problem.